Hello, welcome to Blame It on the Draw. Today we're giving you a deck profile for Heretics combined with Guard Dragons. Of course, I'm going to make this called Heretics since it has more Heretic Engine in there than Guard Dragon. Guard Dragons in this deck is basically an extender. It's not really something that's your priority, so you're going to be focusing a lot with the Heretics just like before in the past. But basically in the past, so you just don't have to do one combo off either. This is a good first one's return for the monsters. We're going to start with Red Eyes, Darkest Metal Dragon. He's going to be the card you're going to be comboing off to exploit him. And uh, you can special summon him with any of the cards. For example, uh, a Tomb, which is the XYZ monster for Heretics. Or you can just use the Guard Dragon Light to special summon him directly from your deck. And uh, next up for the Heretic Engines, I'm going to be using three Tefnuit. Tefnuit, you can change it to two. But for now, we're going to be using three. Three Tefnuit, basically it's a Cyber Dragon. You can special summon it directly from your field. And uh, yeah, that's it. You can use it for tributing if your opponent uh, controls a monster. Then you have Heretic, Heretic Dragon of Sue. Sue destroys spells and trap cards. And of course, Her uh, Heretic Dragon of Asset. Now, basically Asset, what it does is he can normal summon itself and you just eliminate the, the attack and then you can use it to change any of them. But then you have Sophia of the Queen of Dragons. Sophia, Queen of Dragons is going to be the Ritual Summon monster. You're going to be Ritual Summoning. And of course, since it's a Ritual Summon, you're going to be using the Ritual Summoning card. I've said Ritual Summoning so many cards that it's just fucking annoying. And then you're going to be using it to Ritual Summon by using any of your Heretics. Since it's a Tribute, you're going to be activating their effect secondary effects of all the Heretics. Plus, you're going to be using her to activate her effects. And most of her effects has three of them. One of them is going to be returning one light monster directly from your graveyard to your hand. The second one is going to be drawing two cards. And the third one is going to be... Uh, oh, and discarding one. And then the third one is going to be... Um, discarding one card for your opponent's hand and red eyes you know that red eyes what it does and you have this one which basically discards uh you can just destroy one spell tracker your opponent controls and when he's tributed you can special on one monster normal monster from your deck directly to your field with zero attack and zero defense and uh, of course this one when he's normal summon you can actually uh dim down his attack but he changes all heretics monsters in different uh uh, uh, their their numbers of stars depending on the, the the target of normal monster. For example, the normal monster has a level eight, so they all all the heretic monsters are on the field with well him being in the field turned to level eight. So uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty good for this one. And you're gonna be needing him a lot, believe me, especially when you don't have anything else to combo off in the beginning. And uh, last but not least, and uh, by the way, all the heretics, what they do when they're tributed, you can just special summon one normal monster. Uh, that's the secondary effect. And then this one, of course, basically what he does, uh, that you can special summon him directly from your field uh, when your opponent controls a monster. And uh, yeah, he's just an extender, believe me. And then uh, he's going to be like Cyber Dragon. And that is it for the heretic engine. And you're going to be using the guard dragon engine, which is guard dragon premises. And you're going to be using the normal monster, which is Trahorn dragon, Labradorite dragon, and of course, one guard dragon, Justicia or Hostesia, whichever you want to call it. Galaxy Serpent and a Galaxy Serpent and Hostesia is going to be the one you're going to be using for synchro summoning or, of course, special summoning with your effects of the other uh, heretic monsters. And you have here uh, Labradorite uh, dragon, which is going to be enabling you the tuner effects. So you can just use it for also synchro summoning for the big synchro sum summons, or you can just use it straight up to uh, XYZ summon to level 6 to get a tomb. And then, of course, you have Trollhorn Dragon for two of the two level 8s. And you have the Guard Dragon, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the Guard Dragon uh, Promises, which basically you can special summon him with the Guard Dragon and send to the graveyard, or you can discard him to get 500 attack for one of your uh, dragons until the end of your opponent's turn. Next up, we have for the spells three uh, Heretic uh, Heretic Seal. Uh, heretic Seal adds one Heretic Monster really from the deck to your hand. And then you have th uh, two Celestial Observatory, return one level six monster directly from the bottom of your deck, and you draw two cards. Which is uh, pretty great in this deck. Believe me, you have a lot of level six. And you have a War Legacy Guard Dragon, War Legacy Guard Dragon, special summon with level four, lower mo normal mo monster from your graveyard, which is a dragon, and then it's changing from the columns if you want to in the same turn. Which is and a great extender if you leave me. Believe me, it's a really great extender. This is one of the cards that it, it's, it, it makes sense why to be expensive. And then of course you have two of the ritual cards, which is Hymn of Light. Hymn of Light protects your ritual monsters from from destruction. And of course, enemy controller, enemy controller, attributing and use control one of your monster, or opponent's monster, until the end of the current turn, which is great. I'll bump this down to one, uh, but he, he's a, it's a really good card, believe me. Uh, enemy controller is uh, basically one of the best disruptors in this field, activating one of your uh, effects plus that. And you have Dragon Shrine. Dragon Shrine is going to be the one that you can uh, send one normal monster from your field to the graveyard. And then you can send one heretic or something else you want to go to the graveyard, so you can continue on your playoffs to be an extender. And from there, you continue off until you finish off the comboing off on everything else. And that's basically it for, the, for these spells, but basically these are all just extenders when it comes to the actual deck itself. And uh, yep, oh, that's, uh, about, that's about it for the main spells. 
And now, uh, preparation of rites, of course, adding your for pre prep. Pre prep is going to be adding you the ritual spell card and the ritual monster. Card is constant as this card one, two, and a monster draw two cards, which is pretty simple. Uh, everyone knows this one. It's pretty good right now. It just takes since you have a lot of tuners. Uh, Wing Beat Dragon, I would change, I would just eliminate this eventually, but uh, Wing Beat Dragon basically will return with level 5 or higher monster, dragon monster from your field to the hand. And you can destroy to uh, destroy all your spell and trap cards your opponent controls. You have Twin Twister, Twin Twister discard one card and then destroy two spell and trap up to two spell and trap cards your opponent controls, which is really good when you want need to do something else for extending for you gotta discard something like World Chalice Boy. And you have Monster Reborn. Monster Reborn is of course special on one one monster from either player's graveyard directly from your feet to your field, which is a great extender, believe me. All right, that's about it for the staples. And now let's head for the traps. We only run three traps. We have uh, Heretic Seal of Reflection, a Heretic, uh, and we have Guard Dragon uh, Cal Calatism. Calatism Tribute is true too. Heretic uh, Seal of Cal uh, Reflection is just negation. The Tribute, and you can just negate a spell track for the monster effect activation. So, not that much. Just three traps, and uh, they're pretty simple to use. Though. So, yep, yeah, pretty good disruptions in there. At least something of a disruption into the deck. Now let's gonna move on for the extra deck. The most important parts here is one, su two, su one Sturdy Skull Dragon, my bad. One Summon Sorceress, one Triple Burst Dragon. And uh, one Guard Dragon, Agar Pain, and uh, one Guard Dragon, Pipsy, Elpsy, and of course, one Link Spider. This is about it. They all do their own combo. Skull Dread is going to be the one that's going to be uh, changing all your cards from your hand. And a special summoning plus you gave 500 attacks on the social is going to be your extender for you pointing one dragon you can special summon. Link Spider is going to be Link Spider is going to be special summoning one normal monster directly from your field. And of course, Saruja, like I told you, you can just special summon any monster and just add more attack and just continue to combo off to just have less cards directly from your, from your field to your hand. And uh, Summon Sorcerer is going to be continuing on the extensions. Of course, Summon Sorcerer points to one dragon, you can special summon him. But when you have these two directly from the field, uh, on the field, you can, uh, when they're, since they're pointing directly to, the, both of them are directly to the, to the same part, spot, you can special summon Elpsy directly from your field to uh, uh, Red Eyes Dragon's Mode Dragon, use him for Link 2 to get Agar Pain. Agar Pain is going to activate this effect, you can special summon something, and Red Eyes uh, can be direct, directly special summon again because of Pipsy. And uh, basically, this is going to be the combo off for everything. So you're just going to be continuing comboing off a lot of cards with this. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for these cards. And Triple Burst Dragon is going to be the one that's going to be extended just in case you have something in a problem. Plus, you can special summon Link Monster during your, your next main phase when he's on the field. Tributing him, and you can special summon uh, Link 2 Monster directly from your graveyard to your field, which is really great to continue on your extensions. That's why Triple Burst Dragon is such a great card. Next up for the XYZs, we have number 38, Hope Harbinger. And then we have uh, Gaia Dragon, the Thunder uh, Charger, and we have Photon Strike Bouncer, and then we have two Heretic Dragon of a Tomb. Heretic Dragon of a Tomb, two level six, and you can special summon Red Eyes directly from your field to from, from your graveyard. My bad, you can special summon one uh, her uh, Dragon directly from your from your deck to your field, and you can use that to discard them and special summon them. Of course, Photon Strike Bouncer is negating any monster's effect to activate, so you can just negate it. Plus, he gets burn damage because of doing that. And of course, you have uh, Gaia. Gaia can special summon during uh, on top of any of these. Plus, he does piercing damage. And uh, of course, Hope Harbinger negating the spell and trap cards or effects of spell and trap cards and uh, taking it away from your opponent. So you, that's a really good disruption right there on the field. Last but not least for the synchros, we have, uh, of course, this one's supposed to be Hot Red Dragon Arfina Abyss, but right now we're going to be using this one, Tyrant, because of course Tyrant it can be summoning really easily in this deck. And uh, then we have one of Scarlight. Scarlight destroys all spe a monster that has 3,000 and or equal to less to that attack and destroys them for each one. You lose 500 attack. Your opponent loses 500 attack, including yours can be destroyed. And he's a level A, so you can use it for XYZ summoning. And of course, the Majestic Star Dragon, basically what he does, negate spell, trap cards, or monster effects activation. Uh, and, do, and of course, when you negate it, you can tribute him, negate, and you can destroy all cards your opponent controls. And during the end phase, you can just return him back to the extra deck if you haven't done anything since that's part of the mandatory effect. But of course, this is just uh, for a second turn kind of def on a card so if you go second you use this one goes uh, and basically just combo off from there to do an otk and that's about it for the synchros really and that's something else for it so uh yeah guys don't forget to like comment share subscribe hit the like button hit the like button make the like button your bitch and i hope you like the video and if you don't don't forget that there's gonna be a giveaway very soon and we're gonna be announcing in the next video very soon after the next deck profile is gonna be uh ninjas and uh hope you like it guys peace out Remember how you held me then Now you got me reaching out